Hello and welcome to Let's Play Endless Space 2, Series 7, Episode 80. I'm JC Proton. We are picking up at turn 236. And this one we are going to be uh, looking over our carrier design. And uh, let's see, do we have... I don't think we're going to be invading yet. No, we're still sieging. Uh, Primus will probably be the first one we invade. Or the next one we invade, I guess. Um, okay, so uh, we're starting off pretty much at the beginning of the turn. I went through uh, planet build queues and kind of updated a few things, but I uh, didn't really shuffle population around much. Um, uh, as you can see, a lot of the systems are maxed out. Um, so I'm just going to kind of let that ride for a little bit. Um, so you see when the populations are maxed out, then there's no food production because all the food production is getting rolled into um, industry. And then the industry with this urgent AI research is the industry is being turned into research. So we have massive, massive research. Uh, 239,000 per turn <clears throat> right now. So we're cranking through like massive amounts of research. Um, so I'm going to be going through, like basically I'll be able to research pretty much everything that I'm interested in having in five turns, although that's not counting uh, throwing in Wealth of the Endless or um, Might of the Endless or uh, power of the endless and so you can see at, uh, at 249 you're talking like each of those endless texts is going to be like two turns so two four six plus five it's like 11 turns so in 11 turns i basically will have researched everything i'm interested in researching in the research tree and then i'll just be filling in the uh, filling in the gaps at that point um so let's go ahead and throw that on <coughs> And throw it throw it in front in front I guess and that'll be a really nice boost let's see this isn't really something I need that much and uh, with these three techs each increasing the effectiveness of my ground troops I probably won't need more than one invader ship anymore when I do invading I think all I'll really need is one. I did I did move some fleet around a bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's see here. Husk and BK2 lost populations. Um, you know, depleted planets. What are you gonna do? And BK similar situation um, uh, I guess let's go ahead and let's go ahead and look at the carrier design um, <clears throat> so the current carrier looks like this um, and I think I'm gonna I think what I'm going to do is, uh, so if I were to use this extreme impenetrable plating, um, you see we currently have 63% absorption. If I put that in instead, it goes up to 72. If I lose this one, it's still 63. <clears throat> so, and 50% of the damage absorbed uh, repairs the ship so it effectively makes it 50% more effective than this so 63 is really like 94 and a half percent and having one more module brings it up to 72 which would be 72 times 1.5 36 108 so that so that's effectively 108, and that's effectively 94 and a half. Um, so I might as well just go with another shield since the shields are linear. Um, they're not diminishing returns the way the armor is, 
and then go with two guns, two beams, two sets of the improved fighters. And the improved fighters have twice the hit points, basically. And the bombers have almost twice the hit points. And they do like 50% more damage. They both do about 50% more damage um, than the basic version. So this will give me um, all together but the the price the price for one of these is eight and I, I don't like spending that much so if I took it back down to that that's a lot more affordable So I think I'm gonna do that just because I want to go low cost. I might eventually design a carrier that is the super bombers and the super fighters. Um, but I think right now I'm just gonna go with trying to keep the uh, strategic resource cost down. So that's that's pretty effective. Let's see, 63. Yeah. So I think that's what I'm going to do. By going with uh, dual fighters, that will give me better defense against enemy bombers that I've noticed are are getting through and are doing damage um, and that'll also give me extra uh, bomber or uh, extra escorts for my bombers um, and then go going with two guns uh, gives me more point defense against fighters and bombers and missiles which I've noticed missile volleys are getting through <clears throat> so uh, that should be just kind of all around good defense. Two armor, two shields. Um, I'd like better armor and shields, but um, the uh, the resource costs are, are, are just too high. Uh, I'm designing this to just be built in mass, right? <laughs> gonna, I, I have about 40 carriers right now on the map. Um, so... <laughs> I need, I need them to be cheap because I have a lot and I'm going to be building more. So I think I'm going to go with that. That's the upgrade. The upgrade is basically just uh, a slight adjustment. Uh, upgraded bombers and fighters. The advanced plasma bombers and the advanced laser fighters. <clears throat> and, uh, and a little bit more guns. I think that's what we're going to go with. We grew a whole bunch of Horatio all over the place. And BH. Population's dropping on Cravers. So eventually we're going to get these genetic alterations going. Uh, and that'll, that'll make a difference. That'll, that'll uh, as we reverse the depletion, um, yeah, that'll definitely make a difference. Ground battle remains, 100 dust on BK. <clears throat> Your presence and communication is a source of endless joy to the unfallen. It is with great pleasure that the unfallen contact you to make this proposal. Trade agreement. <laughs> no. The trade agreement would cost like well over a thousand dust uh, and be almost worthless basically with him. We know not what game you play, but we have a proposal. 250 gigalatus, that's worth quite a bit. That's worth over 300,000, probably 330,000 at face value. Uh, of course, and when you sell a lot of resources, the value goes down as you sell it, but still, probably worth 300,000. 
Politics. Look at the militarist faction, up to 18% now. Yeah, I mean, we have so many of these craver systems. These systems that have cravers have all, all these militant guys, right? <laughs> so, yeah, the militant faction is really going up. Wow, look at that. It might, at the election in four turns, we'll see, man. They may take over. <laughs> all right, they might. They might take over. If they do, it's fine, I guess. <clears throat> I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It wouldn't really be a problem. Colonize ammonia giant. better that's more uh, industry right that's 1.1 I move these over here that's less yeah and if I move these three over here that's less so that's the way to do it colonize ice Planetary Transport Network. No strategics here. Self-mining NPO, Genetic Alteration Lab on BF. So I think I want to try to um, spread these guys around so we can get some planets that are not depleted and then um, kind of get that production boosting up a bit. <laughs> See, we're doing some upgrades here. Cool. The extreme impenetrable plating. And hyperlight acceleration, it gives plus two movement on all your ships. <clears throat> so that was pretty cool. Makes all my fleets faster. I think these guys must be some sort of quest. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, that's it. Yeah, these guys are just going to kind of hang out. Um, <clears throat> I'm just waiting for the sieging down to happen over here. And at Primus, I guess we'll be ready to invade next turn. And we'll see if one invader is enough. I think one invader is going to be enough. <laughs> That's funny. That was parked. It looked like it was parked there, like it was a system. Right? 
<laughs> All right, let's see where we at on score. 5,400. Okay, let's go ahead and roll over into the next turn, man. And uh, let's invade it, Primus. Let's at least get something done, you know, right? <clears throat> At this point, I think the Cravers are so far back on their back foot, I don't think that they <laughs> have a leg to stand on at this point. I think I'm just totally going to be pushing them out of this uh, constellation. Um, we'll see if they can put together anything that resembles a reasonable defense. Um, but I, I, I think we've just about got them beat. pops out anywhere if so we'll attack but I'll be surprised if anything hops out so like if we get Quadus and Nalan you know, that'll be a couple more deposits of, of uh, the Aura Calcix. At that point, I'll have a pretty good flow going on, right? And at that point, I might uh, consider swapping over um, my carriers to using ex the Extreme Impenetrable Plane. That, that might be an option. At that point, once I have a really good flow... That might be something to do. Because right now, I think AM is the only deposit I have. So. Cool. It is with great pleasure that the unfallen contact you to make this proposal. We know not what game you play, but we have a proposal. And we're up to 270 now. All right, cool. AJ. Let's see what we built. <clears throat> Whenever I see uh, a whole bunch of ships start coming out, then I know that we've uh, completed something big. Or, I mean, we're, we're, we're ready to start to switch over to urgent AI research. So right now, for example, I'm at 241,618. And if I put this on, then we go up to 252,890. So that's, that's a nice increase. Let's see if there's any other systems that complete. Okay, autonomous administration completed at AP. So now we have 38 is our limit. Cool. I'll work on this stuff off camera. Let's see, like AU is going to build this guy, autonomous administration, but the question is when. Probably around 
fair. <clears throat> I'll do the rest of that off camera. Um, let's just go ahead and rock out the uh, the invasion, man. Let's do Primus. Primus. Um, yeah. I can edit my battle tactics set for free. Okay, cool. Yeah. Election after three more turns. Okay, so let's do the invasion. Gorilla. Pre-battle damage. All right, let's see how it goes. We're landing 1,425. That should be enough. Even with 218, if they draft, that'll give them 300 and like 92, 393, I guess 390, something like that. <clears throat> 393, I think. We should still win that, I think. Our troops are pretty good. Yep, they did a draft. population of Cravers and 18 improvements we will occupy. Primus is ours. Okay. Trenches. A minor engagement occurred here. The evidence of the battle is already disappearing. Huh. I don't remember seeing trenches ever. That's totally new to me. I've never seen trenches before. Cool. System's totally depleted as expected, right? Oh no, this one's not. Cool. All right, so we have... Patriot pills can go, exotic rations can go. Great. Cool. Pretty nice, man. Okay, so we want self mining in PO. Let's see here, we're gonna be losing population really fast, aren't we? What I'm basically doing is I'm doing enough that I'll end up with equal or more than um, Horatio to Cravers, at least to start with. just to try to reverse the depletion that's going on. <laughs> Guess that's probably enough and then I'll circle back off camera and finish out the build queue. Four things destroyed. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, not very many population grew because I left them maxed out like that, right? Um, wealth of the Endless will be done in a turn. See, we truck through. We're halfway through that one. So that'll be great. Um, we need this one down here. Which is this one? I think I'm going to do that. Get that one knocked out. So that I can get these. Kind of want to. I want to get all four of the endless techs. Uh, I think I want to get this one too. Yeah. And I think what I'll do is once I've basically finished all these researches, um, then I'm gonna then I'll then I'll stop doing the uh, urgent AI research. And I'll start, you know, building building other things. Whether it's more fleets, um, I have a whole bunch of like small fleets queued up here um, on like all of these uh, core systems. I have about six or seven turns worth of small fleet that are uh, like five frigates and one decoy. So it's like you know attackers and um, and uh, protectors just massive massive swarms of small ships it's, it's literally going to be probably hundreds of ships per turn um <laughs> not exactly sure how many turns i'll actually do that i don't know if i'm going to switch over to like like um like the dust um re the dust the dust one this emergency labor it converts all of the industry into dust i might do that I might end up doing that um, with a lot of the production. I'm going to have just massive amount of production I'm not going to know what to do with. And I'm not going to need that much military. <laughs> so I might just turn it into dust. So. So. I guess, I guess I'll leave it here. Um, I'll do the stuff off camera. What I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, shuffle these fleets around. I'll split these siege fleets. Some of them will go over to Ying. Some might go to Deki here. Um, so we'll pick up next time at uh, probably maybe 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 238. I'm guessing probably probably pick up at like 238. Uh, unless unless there's something else that I discovered that I need to do on this on this one that I forgot or something like that. But I think that's I think that's probably it. So. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.